Hi, everyone. Remember that sad sink? Well, it's gone now. I'm Kate Bonnie, and welcome to Kate Bonnie Country. Thanks for stopping by. I have been crazy busy remodeling the basement grooming space, so come on in and have a seat while I tell you what has been going on in my life. First of all, I want to thank all of my viewers for watching the world from my perspective. Some of you know me personally in the real world, belong to the same social media groups I do, or follow my personal accounts. Many of you have reached out to me to comment on how patient I am when I groom Tamir and to compliment her coat. Then, a person reached out to me to ask if I could groom a husky that is currently at my local animal shelter. I went over there and took care of Beta. If you missed her video, the link to it will be in the description or click it here, but don't forget to come back and hear the news. After that day, I discovered my calling, or rather, I should say I rediscovered it. When I was a child, my grandfather was a master zoologist, and he taught me a love of all animals. In second grade, I wanted to become a veterinarian to help animals. Well, no, I did not enroll in veterinarian school. But I did decide to become a professional groomer specializing in difficult dogs. My mother will turn 81 years old soon, so this is one way I can support myself and be around if she needs help with whatever comes up. I enrolled in a grooming certification course and started working on remodeling the grooming space. Getting rid of that sink and power washing everything was the first step. I am naming my grooming business Kate's Country Critters. I thought about spelling it with all K's, but then I realized that's a really bad look, so um, KCC it is. I expect to complete the grooming course before July 1st, and I hope to have all the legal stuff like a business license and liability insurance taken care of by July 15th. When that happens, I will launch a second channel for Kate's Country Critters. My shelter grooms and professional grooms will go on that channel. This channel will still host my random topics and videos of my dogs. I'm going to pause right here for just a moment and shout out to everyone that helped the Bibb County, Alabama Animal Shelter this week. An SOS went out in a local social media group that the shelter was running low on dog food. Within 24 hours, the shelter received 450 pounds with more shipping in from donors that do not live in the area. Personally, I would like to thank Margaret A. and fellow content creator Nisi Style for making donations through my PayPal. I was able to deliver 110 pounds of dog food before 10 a.m. the day after the call went out. The Bibb County Animal Shelter in Brent, Alabama relies on community support to provide proper care for these animals. If you would like to help, please click on this video. It will also be linked in the description and as the end card to this video. Once the space was pressure washed, it was time to start painting. Well, actually, it was getting well into the afternoon, so I tidied up and came back the next day. Yes, I am wearing the same clothes. These are my dirty project clothes, so I don't go ruining my good ones. I did bathe and put on fresh undergarments when I got up and started day two. Since this is a basement and I am painting the brick foundation of the house, I chose to use an exterior paint. The shade is called Grape Freeze. I wanted to go with a calming pastel color, but didn't want to use the common beige, yellow, or green that remind me of hospitals. Since purple is my favorite color, I thought something in a lilac hue would be nice. The local hardware store also had four cans of a discontinued purple exterior spray paint. So I picked those up for 60% off. I will use that dark purple on the door frame and the trim. I don't want to be a typical groomer. I want to make enough money to support myself comfortably while also being affordable. I don't want to schedule six to eight grooms a day and rush from one animal to the next. So many people are told that their dogs have behavioral problems and can't be groomed simply because the groomer does not have time to build a relationship with the animal. Grooming can be scary. 
Your human takes you to strange place with strange smells and strange people. They hand you off to someone you've never met and then leave. This strange person then douses you in water, touches you in ways that you don't like, and then comes at you with strange things that make loud noises like dryers and clippers. It's quite terrifying to be groomed. I want to be able to take time to make grooming as stress-free as possible and teach the owners how to understand their dog's personality and maintain their dog's coasts between grooming. I don't want to see any dog suffer because their owner doesn't understand their needs. I learned to groom Tamir out of necessity. I could not afford the $250 that the closest groomer to me charges for a badly matted husky, and the $120 for routine grooming every six weeks. So I went to the internet. And I found Vanessa at Girl with the Dogs. I watched every Husky video she had made up to that point in time. I learned what tools I needed, and I learned how to approach Tanya. What I love most about Vanessa is that she does not charge her clients. She supports herself through selling grooming products through her website and on Amazon, and from the revenue she gets as a content creator. I would love to be able to groom dogs for people in need at no cost to them, groom shelter dogs more than once a week, and be able to establish a 501c3 organization dedicated to supporting the Bibb County Animal Shelter. I cannot attain these goals without your help. So please, please like this video, subscribe, and write Grape Freeze in the comments to feed the algorithm. Feeding the algorithm will push this video out to more viewers and I am so close to getting 100 subscribers. I would really love to have 100 subscribers before the end of the month. I spent the better part of five hours painting this area. The mortar between the bricks is um challenging to paint due to all of the lumps and crevices. I also had to stop for about 45 minutes to run an errand, so it probably took closer to 4 hours. Since you probably don't want to watch paint dry any more than I do, let's just skip to the end. I will go back in the next day or two to apply a second coat. Then I have to build a wall. I've never built a wall before. Doc Dillinger cannot help me with that. You see, I am 5 foot 0, he is 6 foot 4. And most of the overhead beams in the basement are set at six foot two. He literally cannot stand erect in the basement. So please join me again when that video drops. I've never built a wall before.